AI agents running 100% local on your computer with no code. You can supercharge your workflow with AI automation. This is using Olama, PostgreSQL, and N8N. N8N is one of the most popular open source automation tool, which has 47,000 stars. Using N8N, you can customize workflow, add memory to agents, integrate with multiple tools, and run it locally. You are able to create workflows like this in a no-code interface and publish a chatbot like this. So when you ask any questions, give me the latest AI news. It's going to go through those workflow using all the tools available and it gives us a neat article as you can see here. So the output was created using this workflow. I'm going to take you through step-by-step -step, hands on tutorial. Even a beginner should be able to follow on how to set up AI agent, how to add memory to that AI agent, how to add tools to that AI agent. Then as a use case, we'll be creating two different agents. One is new search agent and blog writer agent with tools and memory. Finally, you end up creating a chatbot like this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step, we need to download Olama, Postgres and N810. To download Olama, go to olama.com and click download and install. Next to install Postgres, go to postgresql.org and you should be able to download accordingly. Similarly to run N810, you need to download Node.js. So first, to download the large language model, we are going to use Llama 3.2. So going to run Olama, pull Llama 3.2 and then click enter in your terminal. So this will automatically download the large language model, that is the AI, which is powering the whole workflow. In regards to PostgreSQL, I believe you would have downloaded using the website, but in my case, I'm using Mac. So I'm going to use brew, brew install PostgreSQL at 14. That's version number 14 and then click enter. So this will automatically download the PostgreSQL for me. Brew services start PostgreSQL at 14 to start the PostgreSQL in my Mac. Now third, N810. So I'm going to use NPX, N810 and then click enter. This will automatically start the N810 application. So here you can see it's running in localhost 5678. So I'm going to open this URL. So here is the user interface. I have already created two workflows. Now I'm going to show you how you can create a workflow from scratch. So click add workflow from here. Now you'll have an interface like this. Now step number one, set up AI agent. So I'm just holding my space bar and then clicking and dragging. So here I'm going to click the plus icon. Then you should be able to see all the list here. So I'm going to click advanced AI. There you can click AI agent to create AI agent. Now I'm going to give a name, calculator agent. And now I'm going to assign a chat model. So click on chat model. There you have multiple options. I'm going to use Olama. Click on Olama. Now from the drop down, you can see Llama 3.2. That's the one which we have just downloaded. And then click Calculator Agent. I'm just pressing Control S to save the workflow. Now step number two, add memory to the AI agent. So even in the Calculator Agent, you can see a memory option there. I'm going to click Add Memory. Then you got multiple options. So in our case, I'm going to use Postgres Chat Memory. Clicking on that. Then it will ask, to connect to the current PostgreSQL account. So you can click edit. So I mentioned localhost, Postgres database, and user is Postgres with no password. That's the default setup. But if you want to configure it to a specific password, you can log into Postgres and change the password. But for now, I'm keeping it simple for beginners. Everything Postgres, Postgres, and password is nothing. And I should be able to try and test, and it says connection tested successfully. Clicking close and clicking the calculator agent again. And now we have completed first two steps, assigning Olama and adding memory. Now step number three, adding tools to AI agent. So in the same calculator agent, you have another option at the bottom, tool, click on that. You have multiple tools to choose from. In my case, as a basic, first I'm going to use the calculator tool. click on calculator, and that's it, just the basic setup. Now we have completed the key steps for creating an AI agent. That is large language model using Olama, memory, and then calculator tool. So now if I go back to the canvas, back to canvas, you can see my calculator AI agent has Olama, Postgres, and calculator. So I'm going to delete the initial click trigger. 
So now I have chat, message received, then Olama, then Postgres, and then calculator. As simple as that, creating an agent. Now if I want to test this, I can double click this. There you can see test chat. I'm going to say, what is one plus two? I know it's very simple, but just to prove the point. So yeah, here you can see the list of steps it took. First, it stored the question in the memory. Then it went to the AI to use the tool. Then it's using the calculator tool, getting the final response and saving that in memory. And finally, we got the answer here. So this is running 100% locally on your computer with all the model, memory, and the tool. Now we are going to take one step further. We are going to create new search agent, searching the internet using tools, SERP API tool, and then sending that to the blog writer agent to give us the final blog. Considering this is searching the web, this is not 100% local, but the previous step was 100% local. And you are able to add any number of tools which is running locally on your computer. But just to show you the power of how you can integrate this with other public available AI tools, I'm adding this tool. So this is what we are going to create. So you should be able to log into serpapa.com and get the API key by signing in. Now I'm going to modify this agent. So double click on that, renaming it as new search agent, rename. And in the tool, I need to remove this calculator tool. So going back to the canvas, there you can see a delete icon. Clicking on the delete and adding tool again. There I'm going to search for SERP API Google search. Clicking on that, click the edit icon here and add your API key and click test. That's it. Now we have created a new search agent which has access to Olama Postgres SERP API. In case Olama is not working, just make sure double click on that, click the pencil icon there, make sure the URL is like this, localhost, and click retry to test it. Now the first step of creating new search agent is complete. Next, blog writer agent. Just moving it across and clicking the plus icon, advanced AI as usual, and clicking AI agent. Now same as before, I'm adding a chat model that is Olama with the Llama 3.2, going back to the agent and editing it. This is blog writer agent, I'm clicking enter. Now it's rewritten. Now I need to add a prompt that is a system message saying you are a blog writer agent. Use the provided information to write a blog. Only respond with the blog. That's it. System message complete. And I can click Control S to save this. Going back to Canvas and you can see a complete workflow here with agent number one sending the information to agent number two and finally, we'll get an output. Now it's time to publish this as a chatbot. That is a final step. So double click this chat message. There, I'm going to click make chat available public and copy the URL. Going back to Canvas and making the inactive tab to be active. Workflow activated, got it. Now it is active. Now I'm going to open the URL and here is the URL which I have just opened and here's the chatbot. Now I can ask, give me latest news about Meta AI and clicking enter. At the back end, it'll go through one by one. Seems like an error in the workflow. Let's go back and fix it. In the editor, you have an execution tab, click on that, and then you should be able to see the error. Seems like there's an issue in the second agent. So I'm going to do a test run by clicking test chat, Meta AI news. And here is a clear error message, no prompt specified. So let's go to the blog writer agent, double click on that. Yeah, here you can see, taken from previous node automatically. So I'm going to define below. So I missed that step. So it's easy to add the prompt. So here's the prompt. So just dragging the output here, that's it. Next, I'm going to say, here is the content. So what we are doing here is sending the output from the new search agent to the input of the blog writer agent here. That's it. Now I'm going to Press Ctrl S to save the workflow. Test the step again by clicking this and here is the output. That is cool. Now it is working, just saving it and let's do the final test. Give me the latest news about Meta AI and then click enter. And here is the output. This is super cool. Meta AI partners with Reuters and you are able to now make this chatbot available to everyone and they should be able to have a conversation with this AI chatbot which is powered by multiple AI agents and it's a no code solution.
I'm really excited about this. I can see the potential here considering you are able to integrate multiple tools using N8N. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this considering you already like how to create a chatbot and about AI automation. I've already created another video which I will link that here which I highly recommend for you to watch which is also about creating AI agents and I will see you there.